Five this morning, the controversy surrounding Susan G. Komen for the cure and Planned Parenthood continues. In Washington, dozens of U.S. senators are calling on the organization to reconsider its decision to pull funding for the organization. And here at home, people are flooding the social media universe with messages of support and anger. Sloan Heller is live in our newsroom with more on this story. Good morning, Sloan. Good morning. Well, those 26 senators wrote a letter to Komen saying it would be, quote, tragic if any woman lost access to a breast screening, again urging the organization to reconsider its decision. Since Tuesday, Planned Parenthood has received nearly $1 million in donations and pledges. Now, all of this financial support is pouring in because Susan G. Komen for a Cure decided to cut breast screening grants to Planned Parenthood. Critics say Komen made the decision because Planned Parenthood performs abortions. But Cummins said it can't give grants to organizations that are under investigation. And right now, Congress is trying to figure out if Planned Parenthood used federal funding for abortions. PR pros in Kansas City don't think Komen for a Cure was prepared for all the backlash online. It appears to me that Susan G. Komen didn't have their folks lined up and that they were maybe caught off guard. We will never bow to political pressure. We will always stand firm in our goal to end breast cancer forever. Planned Parenthood says it performed more than 4 million breast exams over the last five years. About 170,000 of those they say were possible because of Komen grants. We're live this morning in the newsroom. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News Today.